distractions. And for a while, to make her feel like this is a cool place to be, this is where we eat. So if I'm in a train over here, this is where she gets rewards. Come here, Suli. And see, I'm still keeping her on a loose leash, not letting her pull. I'm still making sure that she's staying next to me in training mode. Sit. I'm going to have her sit right here. We have some people right behind you. Camera person. You want to show the people right behind you. And good. We should have people going past at any time. Actually, okay, let's go in here. Go in, let's go in the shade. We're going to pass by hey, carts and things like that. Good girl. Come on. Sit. Well, how about right here? Just let people walk past. Very good. Doorways, really good place to practice. Here, Suli, look. See, the leash is loose. As people walk past, she's not lunging, she's not barking, because we've changed her perception of what it means to be out in public, and now it's a relaxed place where every time somebody walks past, she gets rewarded. Also, she feels safe because she has commands that she follows. She knows that because somebody's orchestrating this whole thing, that she is, um, She's safe. Okay. Here, sweetie. And also, she's a, a little bit more relaxed because, I mean, excuse me, sit. She's a little bit more nervous because we've got this camera person following us, which normally doesn't happen. Hello. Down. And so we're just gonna, we're gonna just do commands out here while there's people right here, right close to us. Every time we practice this, she gets a little bit better. And you can practice her, you know, her downstay by walking around her or whatever. Good, rewarding her when she stays down there. Of course, as she gets up, you're gonna say no, and you're gonna just put her back. Good girl. Carts going past, that's, that's usually a big one for dogs that are insecure. So she's, she's okay with that now. Good girl. So I would, I would suggest when you're doing this, and, and maybe you don't want to go to a place that's as intense as this right off the bat, maybe you want to practice in, in more, uh, less traveled areas and work your way up to a Home Depot, but when you're doing this, go for a short little uh, success, like five minutes like this, and then take off while she's still feeling good, because um, she has, right now she has a fuse, and she could probably take 10 minutes of this, and as you go along, it'll be 15 and 20 until finally, she can stay here all day and she'll be fine. But right now, we're still building up that fuse longer and longer periods of time before she starts to get nervous. So if you have great little interaction successes in public like this, quit on a high note. If you do that every day, you'll build and she'll get better and better. Okay.